Right, check out our toilet. We got a toilet in the garden, right? Here it is. Wait till you see the actual toilet. We have just bought a house 1,800 miles away. What's that all on the walls as well? That's shit. Morning everyone. We've just uh, woke up and got dressed. Well, stuck some clothes on. Now we're going to go downstairs and check out this breakfast. Are you ready? Yeah. Huh? I thought you said you were ready. I am ready. Come on in. You're not taking that package for breakfast. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Here, you take the key. Wait, where's my vape? Hang on. Where's my vape? Hang on, I'll find it. Bank. Oh, them. Can't really see down there. What's on the other side? I see what you've got from the window, did you? Right, okay, let's get you some breakfast then. I'll take that to breakfast. Yeah? No, you won't. What did you think of the first night at the hotel? Go away. What did you think? Go away, it's too early for that. What do you think? It was nice. Yeah, it was wasn't it? Yeah, it was just like a Premier Inn back in England. This is a best western. <coughs> There's a high rise building. Yeah, it went too bad for the price, definitely for the price. We paid £86 on it. £86. That included breakfast, included parking. And we bike we bike by the airport as well. But we're just uh, getting fresh air and uh, we're gonna have some breakfast. Breakfast. I mean, come on, check this car out. That's what we got for three days. What a beast! Not only that, it's left hand drive, obviously, and it's a manual. And now we've got to drive three and a half hours in this thing. And I'm pretty sure it's only one litre petrol. So we've got to go over some mountains, I believe, but um, it's all fun and games. <laughs> Look how basic that is, come on. Don't even have a entertainment system. Just got the bog standard, standard little radio. What a beast that is. Well, well this is a brand new one, apparently it's 2024 plate, so... Look at them from mountains! Can you see mountains in the video? Huh? Yeah. Nice 
buildings. It feels like London. Let's say a show. Look how cheap this KFC is. I don't know if you managed to uh, get a quick glimpse of that sign, but that was 9.95 lev, which is less than five euro, which is about four pound. Now KFC in England is like 12 pound a meal now. That's like five or what, four quid? It's a bargain. Do you want to try the KFC? Why?
sunny as well. Check the weather back at home, I bet it's raining. I bet it's raining the whole weekend as well. Check the weather look. out here is also super leaded 100 not 99 like we get back at home on 98 it's 100 and they also do e85 which is cheap as chips as well cheap as cheap as fuck yeah the fuel over here is a leaded 95 a leaded 100 e85 and you got diesel uh, the better the better version of diesel, like this, like the diesel, like super diesel, you would call it, and they do LPG, and it's all cheaper out here than it is back at home. Not by much, though. Just look at these four roads. just bought a house 1,800 miles away from our home country extremely extremely cheap but it is a opportunity that we couldn't really miss because you can't buy nothing this cheap back in England I mean you'll struggle to get even the garage uh, a shed a decent a decent sized shed I can spoil it there uh, built for the price we built we bought this house not only that we got 2,860 square meters of land with it. Um, yeah, out in the countryside in Bulgaria. Uh, if you keep watching to the end of the video, I'll let you guys know how much we bought this house for. But yeah, it's very cheap. You, uh, it does need a lot of work. The house does need a lot of work though. I mean, yeah, a shitload of work. I'm talking about uh, a full renovation, including plumbing and 
all rewire of the house needs to be done all plumbing but it doesn't even have a kitchen doesn't even have a toilet any bathroom or toilet or nothing that's an outside that's an outside toilet where you shoot in a hole but um this is the uh location so it's like out in the sticks there's some people up there but um that house there you see behind me that's owned by another english family or couple but they bought it how long ago did they say they bought it for 15 years ago yeah. they bought it 15 years ago and they haven't ever been there they just bought it and left it that's it that's it just look, look no don't have no windows nothing but let me just come back here and i'll show you our house there's our hire car which we um hired for very cheap like 28 quid it was to hire for three days let me just stick my mic on so there's the house there let me show you so our boundary the front entrance so we've got a gate there our fences go along all down to there we've got a gate there we also got a gate up there and there's the house from the front of the road sun's behind me so sun's at the front of the house and yeah so we got like a little animal thing there they used to keep sheep in there i think because there's a loads of sheep shit in there um some other animals in that little bit like no one's lived here for a long time i don't think but i was saying that it doesn't look like someone's been here recently because uh, food and that they just dumped we got like let's put let me turn the camera i'll show you so as we walk in through the gate got the outside steps which we'd be definitely be changing <coughs> not too sure what we'll do yet whether to put internal stairs somewhere or just build an extension out here uh, when i was speaking to the estate guy estate agents he said as long as your floor isn't got an upper level you do not need plan permission to build an extension to build a garage or whatever I can, he said I can put an eight foot fence around all the property boundary because we don't really like that style of fencing we've already got so we definitely change it up but yeah he said you've, in, out in the royal villages you can pretty much do what you want and so we need a new door here let's show you here look. so all the seasons need to be ripped down I mean look at that fuck I don't know what this would be used as, maybe a lounge. But yeah, the ceilings need to come down. We plaster the whole lot. I want to put plaster boards up. Um, that it's all boarded up from the from inside the room because I'll show you. There's no window on the on that part of the house for that room, so they boarded it up. But basically, put a new window in, open that up and hopefully be able to put open that wall up and have it as a kitchen diner but yeah all the floor needs redoing concrete all the floors they've got that mud brick or whatever they use it over here whatever it is they use over here back in the day mud brick or whatever it's like clay but yeah need the floor needs to be doing kitchen diner that I don't know what to do with that use that bit for yeah maybe put a stud wall up put a boiler in there somewhere water tank type boiler thing and then I don't have a clue there's so much stuff to do to this house you have fun there? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Well, maybe bring that up. Why don't we 
just do that. I don't know. Yeah, some of them got new windows, like that one. Have any others need changing? No door on there. Well, it needs a door. It's got a door, but it's fucked. Go around this side of the house, and basically the whole house needs re-rendering, doesn't it? I mean, look at the state of it. But you said the roof's fine. But the funny thing is, you can't even get in the fucking attic. Because there's no access point in the attic. There's like no attic latch. But uh, that's what I was all about, the window. There's no window there. Just a load of hay inside there. So God knows what animals are in there. All sorts, I expect. But, oh, at least that's got open beams. None of the other bloody rooms have. That makes my job easier when it's like that. But yeah. And then, that toilet, that little building there, I'll show you that in a minute. That's yeah, hilarious. And come around here, just this is part of the house, isn't it, where the electric comes into, from that pole. And there's like some sort of little outbuilding attached to the house. As well as I said, where the animals are probably kept to too. That goes into the other bit, <coughs> on the other side of the house. So, I mean, you can use this for something, or you can, I don't know what to use it for, but. Anyhow, and there's the other gate I was on about. Let's go and show you our garden. So, probably, probably put a nice gate there. Tarmac or not tarmac, concrete or tarmac, whatever's cheapest really. Probably just concrete. All down there, like concrete drive. All down through here. Whip that fence out. Concrete all down through there. Then concrete down to the other gate. So we'll be able to drive in through there drive around our house and back out but yeah there's our boundary we got all that a fence there goes all the way along there behind that little toilet all the way down there then it slopes down down to a little stream right down the bottom of that little hill yeah and then it goes back up up along down to there so a bit of a garden, definitely need a quad bike. So I'll be blasting the quad bike down up there down up and down that little hill. Well, I mean check this out, right? it's hilarious. But look at that, they used to just take a dump in the in the a hole in the ground. Absolutely stinks. What's that all on the walls as well? Is that shit? Or was that just that mud stuff I was on about, that mud brick? I don't know, but... No, just, just, just... Like, uh, that's what I meant, there's like, bottles of Fanta there, toilet paper. So surely someone's been using that not that long ago. Anyway, what I'll be doing with that is knocking that thing down and filling it up. Back filling it. And there's a hole there. Maybe that's where the shit used to go down to. Oh yeah. Is that where they cleaned it out? I'm guessing. Basically that just gets backfilled. That's what I'll be doing. But we must have the only house here in Bulgaria with not one fucking fruit tree. Not one fruit tree. Look, like we've been looking at houses to buy out here for a little while now just because of how cheap they can like how can be yes they need a lot of work but i mean for the prices of houses out here you can't buy fuck all in england so for the sake of less than 10 grand you can buy a place like that 
yes it needs a lot of work but that's what the point you get a lot of land as well I mean you comment below what land or house or whatever you can buy for less than 10 grand you can't you cannot buy land which is 2860 square meters worth a building on as well for less than 10 grand you can't even buy a little patch for less than 10 grand in England it's mad so even if we don't come out here and use it or fix it up even if it's just left there like the other one it's like we've got nothing to lose really because it's always ours so, yeah basically I need to get a fucking digger All we need to do is get a toilet and a bathroom, don't we? Shower and the toilet in one of the rooms and then we can come here, stay there, slowly fix it up. You can get a strimmer and start cutting the grass, can't you? I'm going to bike on in a minute for that dog. Yeah, there's a dog barking. Well, we haven't seen no dogs yet, have we? All cats. animals. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to dig all this up. What are you doing now? Outside my shoe. <laughs> <coughs> that looks like a nice tree. Yeah, that's walnut, that's walnut tree. Oh, yeah, you can sell them. Apparently, it's, quite a bit, you, make, you can make some money out of them. Bulgarian market. That's what you can do. You can sell walnuts in the market. Oh, thank you. Yeah, there's some walnuts up there. Look, go and get, go and get some down. Uh, Climb up here and get some walnuts. Yeah, Why? That's a walnut tree as well, I think. Walnut trees are, are protected here, so we can't knock that one down. All that trees are protected over here, just like oak trees are in England. Oh, look. Look, there's a walnut there. There's a walnut inside the earth. Basically, just clean that up and you can eat that. You ready to go? Walnut, look, look at that. Look, it's like an apple. Yeah. Look, that's a fresh walnut. Look, buddy. Oh, yeah. Look. Mm. Do you want to eat it? No. Why? I don't like it. Go wash it off at the tap. <laughs> go, go, go wash it. There you go. Look at that. Oh, that's a shame. There you go. No. <laughs> ready, catch. Catch. Catch a walnut. Yeah, have a barbecue look. You definitely need to shower now, I'm losing your burpee on you. Yeah, look, come here. Oh, wait, it's on your top. Come here. Come here, it's on your top. Yes, it is. You losing your burpee on your top. Well, you did to me first. <coughs> you did, you got my new t shirt. Yeah, need a great big bonfire as well, don't we? Oh, let's go show him upstairs. Oh, look at that size of that ant. Oh, that's massive. Oh, loads of them. Look at the size of that ant. There's another one. Oh my god, there's loads of them. They're everywhere. They're everywhere, yeah. Ants. That looks like strawberries, doesn't it? A strawberry thing. What was that? Why they planted a fucking tree there and put a tree pot? That's in the ground. Look, the tree right there, that's getting ripped out. That was a fucking, that, just, that will eventually knock the wall, that pull the wall down, that will. With the roots. Well, at least we've got a satellite dish with no antenna bit on it. 
know there was CCTV in the corner in the picture they sent when we bought it, but that's gone. Those pictures they, they when we um, looked bought it when we bought it, they're old pictures. Oh, they? I reckon, yeah. Because it still had all the stickers around the window. That window's cracked, got, got a crack with that new window. That door handle looks like it's about 15 years old. Right, let's go up here then. Basically, I, I reckon it'd be easier to put through like an extension wall going along out there, down here, fucking over the place, out here, then back here. So, this would be an internal staircase then. Instead of putting a hole in the floor and burning it, building the staircase. But this would be a nice little seating area. Go as you go. Some nice views out in the distance. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but yeah, out in the distance, there's some nice views. Oh, a lot better than what we've got at our house in England, that's for sure. And this is an old sitting room. Basically, we have what we want to use is three bedrooms, don't we? So we got come up here. That can be a nice little seating area, and then one great big hallway, massive hallway. Put a stud wall going along there, and have a shower and toilet there. This can be a bedroom. That's what I mean. All the ceiling's got to come down. I don't know why they're both. You can't. There's no. There's not one place to get in the attic. I've looked, and there's not one place to get in the attic. Why? I do not know. But I don't know if you can see in the, in the uh, video. But all these are like bowing in. Cool lock can be ripped down and plasterboard. Or do we just fucking plaster just bodge it? <laughs> I don't know. They, they put OCB board on there. OSB, OSB board. Up there. And it's all fucking bowed. Why is it all bowed like that? Anyhow. This could be a bedroom. That could be a bedroom. That could be a bedroom. Nice big rooms. Each one's a double bedroom. You can go out here. See, when we bought this place, I didn't realise it sloped down like that. So I was hoping to get a rear-wheel drive car and just do some drifting around the house and around the garden. But if I do some drifting around the garden now, I'll definitely roll it down that ditch. So it's called bikes. Maybe a 4x4. That's what you can get, get an old Land Rover. Huh? Yeah. Get an old Land Rover, do some off roading down that, down that river bit. Yeah. That'd be fun. Definitely quad bikes. Yeah. Well, that's about it, isn't it? Yeah. Where's my phone? Is it up here? Yeah. This is an electric meter. The electric meter looks quite new, newish, but the rest of it doesn't. Literally, look how we wired it in. It's literally just one light working, which is this one. And that socket, I think, and that socket. That's it, then there's no other sockets in the house, they'll be whipped out. Basically, a shell. Right, check out our fucking toilet. We got a toilet in the garden, right? Here it is. Wait till you see the actual toilet. 
There you go. <laughs> Take a poo in the ground. That's proper old school, that. Do you still want to wee? No, no, no. <laughs> there you go. No, I'm not going in there. Why? I'm not. You have to go the old school, old fashioned way. No, no. You have to go the old fashioned way. This is the old fashioned life. Huh? No, I'll have a poo. Well, I'll, I'll have a poo quickly. No. Yeah. So, Jake, mate, if you're watching this video, I need you to come out here with me and rewire the whole house, put a fuse box there, uh, basically do what we can, and uh, rewire the whole house. <laughs> I mean, there's a toilet here you can use. That one where you shit in the ground. But yeah. So we've just uh, arrived at Sunny Beach, just got a hotel, check this room out. The size of this room! <laughs> it's massive! Not only that, you've got another room! With another massive bed. <laughs> nice shower there. And look at the outside. That's a bungee, got a bungee jump over there. That's that bungee jump thing. I see on YouTube, yeah. That must be where the strip is. Okay, let's go and get some food. I'm starving. I don't know. Huh? Oh yeah, so it comes with a load of drinks and that, but you got to pay extra for them which we found out at the previous hotel. So a Coca-Cola, they whip you off here. It's two, two euro, four lev, two euro, that is, for Coca-Cola. Fucking hell, the Heineken beer is six lev, that's three euro. But it's when it is hotel prices, so expect to pay. But we're not eat that. I'm just gonna get some food then. Hmm? Gonna get some food? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go have a little explore and see what there is to go and eat because we are both starving. So we have just arrived at a steakhouse here in Sunny Beach. I ordered the T-bone steak, you ordered the ribeye steak, didn't you? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, and two Pepsis. T-bone steak was 50 lev, which is about 25 euros, which is about 22 quid. Uh, I don't know how much a ribeye steak was. But yeah, 22 quid, around about 22 quid. Well, with uh, T-bone steak, that's uh, quite cheap, I think. I don't know how good it is yet. There's some music down there. We got a bungee jump over there and a uh, Ferris wheel. So I'm gonna let you know how my how good my steak is. Check this out for a nice steak. Nice chips, T-bone steak, barbecue sauce, onion rings. What have you got? Bye bye. Yeah. That looks nice as well, doesn't it? They both look very nice. 
going to eat this now and dribble. I'm not going to lie, that was a very nice steak. Not much meat on it, it's quite on a small side. A bit fatty, as you can tell. I'm really fussy with getting the fat off my meat. But um, it was so tasty, very tasty. Yours is tasty as well, isn't it? Yeah. yeah look, Chloe, Chloe said hers is tasty as well. I'm, st I'm still hungry. <coughs> I should have ordered the pizza as well. Should have got a pizza as well, because I'm starving still. But, now a little walk around after. I'm pretty sure this is a strip club. They've got two G Wagon, G8, G63s parked outside, one over there. One over there. I said to Chloe, I want to go there. Do you want to go there? Yeah, okay. Okay, we're going there. We have just bought a house 1,800 miles away. So we're taking a little detour now. Look at that. Nice G Wagon there. Another one there. RS6 there. G63, grab us one there. It's dead here because it's not in season. <coughs> There's still a few people left. You better like it, would you? Got a cotton candy. Look at this. Huh? Cool, do you want some? No. Huh? No. The waltzers, bumper cars. Huh? Yeah, I should like it. <coughs> huh? Oh, there's a bungee jump over there. It's supposed to be not in season. <coughs> ah. Oh yeah, mark it now. Look at that one there, the drop. Go on that. Look at that. <laughs> no, 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 no. That one's shut. That one's shut. That's a beach bar. So the beach is right there then. Oh look, there's loads of food here. Your favourite. Yeah, 25 lit. Yeah, that's like 12. That's like 12 dollars. Uh, 12 euros. Right up 
Sale at market. The market over there. Advertising. Actually, nice material. So loads. That's literally like a fiver. That's a fiver. <coughs> they got some Burberry stuff on there. Dolce Gabbana. Stone Island. Bungee jump. We don't have what? There's the bungee jump. <sighs> that looks nice, doesn't it? Palm Beach. There you go. Some people got it. Would you do that? <laughs> no, nor would I. Look how high it is. Huh? Where? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at what Chloe spotted. Naked girls are free. Oh, hopefully she's a naked girl then. Huh? Oh, it's gone. I missed it. Fucking hell, fuck that. Yeah, fuck that. Would you do that? 
Chloe's, Chloe's moaning about she's cold and she's going to get a hoodie or a coat, but I'm not allowed to get one apparently because I've got loads of hoodies. Huh? Huh? So I'm going to get a nice hoodie or fiver. Chloe's going to get a coat for wherever they are. Literally right on the beach. Look down there. That looks close, isn't it? Yeah. That looks nice, doesn't it? Huh? Close down there. Where are you cold? Wavy. Look there. We just take stand here and take a picture video. We got Looks really nice out here. Close, isn't it? Yeah. I'll go to that one, Gentleman's Club. Okay, fair. You wait outside.
get a new toy? Do you want to get a new toy? Okay, come on, let's get matching tattoos. I don't think so. What you went to that steak house? That looks nice. What size are these? They're huge, aren't they? Okay, you'll see over there, look. That shot. I think we're supposed to be walking on the beach side. Huh? Yeah, I think there'll be other markets along the beach bit where I expect you to take up the straight. <laughs> but Chloe said go straight. Yeah. So, what are we doing now then? Turn around. So, we are just driving down to the capital now. Um, this is the road look. And there's the city burgaz. Don't know if you can see it very well in the camera, but all those tall buildings. We got three hours and fifteen minutes. This way for ages now. Look at that, that's myself. Do you want that one? Look at those. Knock it down, go again. It feels bad for ages. So we've just arrived in Sofia, or coming into Sofia, and this is the view we get in from from Burgas into Sofia. And look at those mount, look at those big high-rise buildings. 
I do. You staring at me. No, you staring at me, that's why. What are you staring at me for? What are you staring at me for? Well, look at it, it looks like London, look. That building there on the right looks like one there is exactly in London. And that other one over there. Are you pointing at her or are you just staring at me? I need to get a new photographer. Yeah, it looks like that. Looks nice. Can you see him on the video? Are you actually pointing at him or are you just revealing the sky? No, you need to get spectators. I think you need to get spectators. Look at them though. This is a nice place, isn't it? See the garage, got that building. Look at they. Look, pass me the camera. There we go, look up there. There's a uh, moody button there. There you go. We gotta turn right in a minute. We gotta turn right down here. We're going to the mall. <coughs> There's loads of malls out here to choose from, but we just picked this one. Don't know why. We just picked this one. No reason at all. No one else, we probably picked the worst one, but. Totally different over down here than it is back at um, the village, though, isn't it? Totally different. So, not this one, it's the next turn in there. You, when you come here and then go to the villages, you totally different. Absolutely different. Yeah, that's where we're going, that mall there. I don't know how you get in there though. Down here to the right it says on Google Maps. No, there's people on. No, they've got JD, H&M, Tommy Hilfiger. We've got some shops that we're, we know. Oh look, people crossing. Look, show them the people crossing. So that's what we stopped for. Oh, so after four hours of driving, we've finally uh, got here. Donald's over there, look. I prefer the McDonald's back at home, but we only went to one McDonald's, didn't we? The other, one might, the other ones might be different. They call it Muck Drive. Oh, easy we fucking fucking nearly drove into that one then. Go, what's he doing now? Well, he's back. Look, point then, what are you he's staring at the back, Yeah, he's going back because he's reversing. We've got to get a ticket in here. I can't fucking reach. I can't reach out. Ugh, gotta press the fucking button. Wait two seconds. I can't fucking reach out. Okay, hold ticket. Okay, we're in, and now we're, I suppose we just find some other park. So, there we go, we're here. Great big shopping mall, fitness club over there. Now we just find some other park. There you go. 
you stop it now. Now look at this Ford car. This is a nice Brabus G63. So that one just there. That is very nice. But here we are. I just parked that. Great big shopping mall out here in Sofia, or one of them. So, should we get out and go in? Okay. Where's that car ticket from? Okay. So now we're just going to go out into explore the shopping mall here. Well, this room is nice. <laughs> we just got in Sophia and been to the mall. I left my camera in the car. So uh didn't record any of the shopping mall but it was massive. Just got this hotel. What's this hotel called? Hotel Vega. Hotel Vega in Sofia. Not bad, not bad. Aircon up there, look, tucked away. The aircon control, we want it down all the way down. Basically, just hold it down. No, you've got to keep pressing it. Oh no, Lois is 16. Okay, turn the fan on. Hi, and we hear that. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, this is cool. It's got built in USBs in the wall. That's decent. Oh, that's that's nice. That is. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Yeah, these nice buttons. These are nice buttons to turn the lights and that on. If you want to get these at home. What's the view like? We've got a city view. Not bad. Great big tower over there. Mountains in the distance. Look. Not bad at all. Well, let me let me try and zoom in. So see if you can see the mountains. If I if it lets me zoom in, right? Look, there we go. Can you see the mountains in the distance? Not sure if you can on the, the uh, video too well, but it's quite hazy in the distance. But you just make out the mountains at the back down there. Yeah, there's the mountains, look, in the distance. It's more clearer to the human eye than it is on video. But, oh, you got this view. I wonder what the view is like on the other side. Yeah, apart from that bit down there. But it wouldn't surprise me if they, in the next 10 years, it'd be, it'd be another massive building there. Wouldn't surprise me amount of big buildings we see now, all new buildings and that building building up. There's loads isn't there? Yeah. Imagine what it's gonna be like in never in never ten years time. The roads are very busy. But again, it's not as busy as driving through London, is it? Mm -hmm. That's nice bed, look at the bed. What's the bathroom look like? Nice uh, wardrobe, wardrobe there. Look, where's the light for? There's the light there. That's a bath with a shower. That looks right there. Radiator there. Alarm, in case you slip over the shower, knock you in, and you pull the alarm cord. What are you reading? Fitness and Oh yeah, I need to go to that fitness centre. Don't I? Huh? BGN. 12 BGN, so that's about, that's 12 lev, so that's about 6 euros, which is about £4, pound, £4.50. Pound What's that for? I think it would be a fitness 
Oh, I'll go there then. Oh, we've got the full on our theme bar, which is 15. Okay, I might go there. And we've got nails, massage, full body massage. We'll get a massage. 18. 18 Nev? Yeah. That's like 9 euros, that's like about £7. Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, well, I might go there. I want me some nice girl, give me a massage. <laughs> get a massage. Oh, yeah. You have a sweaty old man massaging your back. No, no, no. No, I'll have a nice sexy lady. Well, that's about it then. Can I chose this hotel? And uh, she chose a hotel away from the city centre. And all you got is a petrol station and a supermarket next to us. If you want to walk for a couple of kilometres, kilometres, huh? Ten minutes. Which ten minutes which way? <laughs> yeah, so I have to walk round for somewhere because the restaurant and the hotel is closed, as she said. So we're going to, unless we get a meal deal from the shell garage. <laughs> so we're going to have to have a little detour and find somewhere to eat. The KFC out here is absolutely amazing, wasn't it? Yeah. The Philip burgers, the actual chicken pieces, were huge. Makes the KFC in England absolutely shite because the chicken Philip like burgers, the actual chicken in, in England is tiny, aren't they? Are literally tiny, and over here they're like three, maybe four times bigger. I'm not even joking. They're huge, and they're cheaper, a lot cheaper. We paid sixteen quid. Worked out in the end, sixteen, just over sixteen pounds, like sixteen pounds, I think. So it was twenty euros, just under twenty euros, and we got you got box meal, didn't you? With chicken, a chicken tower, a zinger, chick, chick, a chicken zinger tower box meal, with a piece of chicken, and you got a coke. No, you got Fanta, and I got. The WAP, it's like a WAP, um, they don't do it in England, not a normal WAP, it's like a massive, huge WAP, a Zinger Tower in a WAP rather than a burger, and with a piece of chicken, a box meal kind of thing, with a Coke, and you got an extra iced latte, and all of that come to, yeah, 20, just under 20 euros, <coughs> over in England, it's like £12 a meal now. For a box meal, and it's like four, four pounds for. I don't even think they do iced iced like iced latte over there, do they? Just looking at the outside. <laughs> Can't stop sneezing. Right, what are you gonna do then? You going outside now? <laughs> it gets dark over here at the same time as. Or what it does in the UK, half past seven at the moment. We're in the 22nd of September today. And it's, what time is it? But it looks like sun's setting now. What time is it? 20 past six. 20 past six. So another hour, maybe getting dark. So what are we doing? Huh? Okay. What are you doing here? We've only just had a cake. Huh? What are you doing here? We've only just had a cake. Yeah, but we can go and have a walk. Yeah, we don't need to. We can relax. Walk in the supermarket. No, we can just relax. Okay, she's been boring. So we're just here and do nothing. Oh, I know it's never building. Let me show you. So, the zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. There it is. Not one in the distance. <laughs> looks quite new. That one to the right looks like they're building that. There's a great big crane there. 
Yeah, but you wonder, I wonder what it's going to look like in another 10 years, like next 10 years from now, I wonder what it's going to look like. I bet it'd be totally different. I wonder what it looked like 10 years ago from now to what it is now. I bet never 10 years later from now. So we found a place to eat. It's called Club 35. It looks actually quite decent here. I've ordered a pepperoni pizza and you ordered chicken, bacon and pass on you yeah. and two cokes. And yeah, I'll show you quickly. So this is what it looks like. We sat in the quiet area. It's really very busy down in the upper bit. But yeah, looks actually quite nice here. Let's see what the food's like. Look at this for pizza. I mean, it looks well nice. There's my pizza, it looks absolutely amazing. And there's your chicken and bacon pasta with mushrooms. And it's absolutely a bargain as well. So that pizza I had was absolutely incredible. But check this pudding out. I got Oreo ice cream cake. And Chloe got a Nutella pancake. Are you going to dig in? I'm gonna eat mine now. Right there, so we had our nice desserts. Absolutely incredible that, uh, the, at that place, <laughs> Club 35. What? And that, and that came to 64 lev, which is about 32 euros. And I checked my bank and that was 27 quid. Fucking bargain for all that. So I gave him 60 lev tip because he spoke really good English and helped us order. Now we're just walking back to the hotel and we're guessing where it is. But yeah. No, I don't want any water. We don't want? I don't want any water. Do not stay at this hotel where we stayed in. What's it called? Hotel Vega Sofia. It's supposed to be four star, but the aircon doesn't work, it blows out warm and we went to the reception yesterday, who well, I did and said about it and they said nothing they can do I said well we only booked this hotel because of the air conditioning and the soundproofing and he said well, sorry I'm only receptionist, nothing I can do, speak to the manager tomorrow I said well I want a refund so we can book another hotel and he said no I can't do that, you have to speak to the manager email him so he gave me a card to email well, what's, the, what's the fucking point of emailing Tomo like, tomorrow like we, tomorrow we want to get a hotel like last night to stay in for a nice cold room no but it was 24.6 degrees in here last night and then in the middle of the night he got too fucking hot didn't it woke up and yeah he advised to open the window <coughs> and i said well, i don't need mosquitoes in he goes no mosquitoes here and i said well there was a burgas when we we sat on the balcony, mosquitoes came in the house. He goes in the in the uh, hotel and he said, Oh, that's because you're by the sea. I don't know if that's true or not, but anyway, anyhow, we opened the window just because it was so hot in there, but then that defeats the point of wanting a soundproof room because we're off the main road in the city. Um, that defeats the point of having a wanting a soundproof room if we had the window open. You know, we wanted soundproof room with air conditioning. But if you have the window open, there's no conditioned air and it's noisy as fuck and it was loud at it all night wasn't it so in the end we had to shut the window because it was way too loud anyhow so um yeah so we just had to put up with it and stay here and then yeah there's no mirror there's no mirror in this uh this room uh the breakfast is absolutely terrible there's no choice there's boiled eggs um ham for bacon um beans hot dogs for sausages and little pieces of bread little croissants 
tiny cake, like chocolate cake. There's no option. There's no yogurt. There's literally this literally fuck all, and uh, you're paying extra for that breakfast. I said to Chloe, we better just can't don't even bother getting included breakfast and uh, go elsewhere and get our own breakfast at a cafe or something. Cause it's much better. But um, this is far by far the worst hotel. So if you're uh, looking on Booking.com for any hotels and this one pops up called Hotel Vega Sophia I recommend you do not do not book it um, because it's uh, not very good I mean the view is alright location is okay it's right next to a supermarket there's a 10 minute walk down to the restaurants and stuff um, right next to a petrol station as well but uh, yeah, you can get better hotels for the, the same money, or if not better, cheaper. So that was my, that's my little uh, advice on this hotel. Do not book it. I forgot to say, but when I went down to the reception last night and spoke to the bloke, he said, um, no, aircon automatic uh, this time of year because it's cold outside. I'm thinking, how can it be automatic? We got the controller in the room there. Uh, we've put it down to 16, the lowest it would go. And I stood on that chair to feel the aircon, and it was blowing out warm. So it's it, like it needs to be gassing. Either the aircon needs to be gassing, or he's got a controller downstairs at the reception that he can control it all. Because the previous hotel we stayed in on Friday night. Um, even though there was a controller on the wall, um, it was locked and it was set to warm. So I went down reception and spoke to the girl in the reception and said, um, "The aircon's there. It's not going. It's locked. It's not letting me go choose call." He said, and then she said, "Oh no, we control it down here, and um, because we've had complaints that it's too cold at night, so we um, set it to lock." And I'm thinking, well. How can that work? Because they're all individual units, aren't they? But um, no, it must not be. So um, that's for that hotel anyway. But she only put it on call. She still kept the system locked, so I couldn't access it. And all I could do is adjust the fan speed or turn it on and off. But it was still set, not too lock. And she only put it on call the call system, the call mode, for 30 minutes. So, um, but that was enough to keep the call uh, room call anyway to like 21 degrees but here it was, in this hotel it was fucking it was too ridiculously hot last night and I don't know whether he couldn't bother to if it was a controller downstairs and he controlled the room's temperatures I don't know whether he uh, just couldn't be bothered to do it or there was a fault with the air, system, air conditioning system here but um yeah so just drinking my protein shake now and I had to it spilled it everywhere and they're going to think I took a shit in the towel because it's all in the fucking towel up. but that'd be nice to see the come in like what the fuck's that <sighs> there's a supermarket right next door and you can get um cheap stuff in there and then some stuff is the same price as what you would get back home there's a little how far is that little 10 minute walk down the road on it chocolate oh. milkshake oh even clay for his poo <laughs> there's a little down down the road where these come from. Protein shake, 30 grams of protein. And they were 2 99 lev, which works out 150 euro. 1 euro 50, which is about £1.20. Same price as what it is back home. Huh? That's a new one. Why have opened one and opened the other? Well, I haven't opened any of them. Why haven't I? Opened it? this one, I haven't opened that one. You must have, I ain't drank any. Mm. 
Needs to do some nice cool energy drinks right here as well. Right, I've not seen that flavour before. Chilling Guaranabana Mango. And they also do caffeine free energy drinks. Just full of vitamins. It tastes like an energy drink, but there's no caffeine when that's in the bin, but that's a, that was right. But now we're going to check out, aren't we? Yeah. Going to check out, drop the car back off, and make our way back to the airport. <laughs> 